here with Sebastian. He's a manager of uh, new business development at 3M Ventures, right? Yes. So you're based in Germany, coming to Boston soon. So talk to us a little bit about what you do and what you guys look for, because you guys really, in the energy space, you're looking for the cutting edge technology, the potential disruptive technology that's on the French, right? So, um, 3M New Ventures is a corporate venture capital arm of 3M, and we are seeking investments in technology driven companies that can extend or complement 3M's existing portfolio. Mm -hmm. In the energy sector, we are looking for technologies that are really new, so we don't look for the um, tense solar crystalline silicium, silicon based solar startup or right. the next wind energy. Um, we are looking for really new technologies that takes a totally different approach. Um, could we uh, investigating flexible solar cells a lot um, that can use off-grid applications as well as new ways to produce wind energy, for example high winds or um, smaller installations that again have off-grid applications. That's the key, right? Off-grid, and that's where it's a lot of a lot of there's a lot of talk of that from the renewable side and from the traditional oil and gas side. It seems to be yeah. of interest. Yeah. Um, I think the reason a lot of startups are targeting off-grid is that it's just easier to get into the market. So um, as much competition or economics are better? Or? Economics are better, people yeah. are willing to pay more for it. Yeah, yeah. And it's easy it's to easy. support the new technology right? at a higher to, price. Yeah, it's easier to support the new technology at a higher price and you don't have to um, substitute somebody. In order to go out and substitute a gas electric, power, uh, gas powered electric that it's not possible for most renewable energies. Yeah. Talk to me about the renewable landscape. I mean, particularly recently, uh, and we were talking about this earlier, you know, natural gases, to some extent, taking the steam out of some of the renewable technology. Right, do you guys believe that's going to continue, or is that not an issue from, from the standpoint of what you guys are looking at? So, I think a lot of the development of the renewables since the 80s, especially in Europe, has been driven by um, federal subsidies. Right. Um, the whole growth in European um, solar cell productivity was with feed-in tariffs for electricity, so people put it up and since they didn't use the electricity, they sold it to the grid at a premium. Sure. And with that going away um, due to fiscal restraints of the European nations, as well as cheaper electricity based out of gas, um, there's less motivation to innovate in the space. So I think that slowed the whole sector down. And the other movement is um, silicon solar cells as well as wind energy. So you reach the kind of dominant design. So the production and the scaling all move to lower um, wage countries like China. The, 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 China is, the, the, I mean, the, there you are or soon to be the primary manufacturer of renewable technology, isn't that right? And a lot of that, I mean, is, is, is the Chinese government subsidizing some of that too internally? Or? Chinese government is subsidizing it too, the companies end up the market when all the basic research was already done. And um, So they're taking proven technology? Right? They're taking proven and, and they're technology. They're, just, they're competing on a manufacturing basis. So there is um, with the help of government um, crystalline polymorphic photovoltaics. But they are just using the already proven technologies, and then um, all the silicon technology, uh, sil yeah, silicon technology already was in China since a lot of low-cost chip manufacturing was there anyway. So they already had expertise in the market. So if you're if you're an entrepreneur, I mean, and you you develop the technology, let's say for the solar and panels, I mean, what's how does that work? I mean, if China figures out the technology, I mean, they are right now the lowest cost manufacturer. I mean, how do, when you're looking from a 3M standpoint, how does that play into it? I think for an entrepreneur, you have to look for the niche markets and hope that you find your fit. That can be um, military applications, especially in the US. Right. Um, That's huge. They, they're, they're looking trying for off grid yeah, They're trying yeah. to move away from gasoline powered to wind or solar. And then um, applications like sensor grids or drilling rigs that don't have a connection to the grid and try to start there. And with scale, the prices go down, you can try to get into more mainstream markets. But I think um, renewable energy, aside from wind for the grid power, will not happen in the next 10 years. That's interesting. Well, with that, we'll leave it. Sebastian, thank you.